Are we alone? Throughout human history, this question has echoed in our collective curiosity. For thousands of years, we have gazed up at the stars, pondering the possibility of other intelligent beings inhabiting the vastness of space. With each passing era, we have made remarkable technological advancements that have expanded our cosmic horizons. We've launched satellites into space, put men on the moon, and invented telescopes that help us see further into the cosmos. We have accomplished incredible feats and continue to learn more about the universe. And yet, despite our endeavors, we find ourselves facing a bewildering reality. There is an absence of any signs of extraterrestrial life. Welcome to the Fermi Paradox. We live in a spiral galaxy called the Milky Way. Within our galaxy, our sun is one of over 200 billion stars. It is estimated the Milky Way also contains at least 100 billion planets orbiting these stars. It is 100,000 light years in diameter. You could say that it's big. But the Milky Way is just one galaxy among 200 billion galaxies beyond it, each containing billions of stars and billions of planets. This provides us with a stark realization. The expansiveness of the universe is unimaginably enormous. We do not possess the technology to reach these distant galaxies. And even if we did have spaceships capable of incredible speeds, the sheer vastness of the universe would render any journey to these distant realms an endeavor spanning billions of years. So if we are looking for life, Maybe it's best to look a little closer to home and concentrate just on our galaxy. The Milky Way is approximately 13 billion years old. The first five billion years of its existence were a tumultuous time as it consumed hydrogen to form stars and experienced cataclysmic mergers with other galaxies. But after that, things settled down. Our sun formed 4.6 billion years ago and it is estimated that Earth formed around 100 million years later. Our planet's position relative to the Sun is significant. That's because the Earth sits in the habitable zone of our solar system. It's far enough from the Sun so that all our life supporting water doesn't boil away, but close enough so that it doesn't freeze. Out of the estimated 200 billion stars in our galaxy, approximately 20 billion stars bear a resemblance to our own Sun. Fascinatingly, Estimates suggest that one-fifth of these sun-like stars could harbor Earth-sized planets residing within their habitable zones. Even if only 0.1% of these planets were to host life, the Milky Way would be home to one million inhabited worlds. So there could be life out there, but what would an alien civilization look like? They can be classified into three types that are described in the Kardashev scale which categorizes civilizations based off their technological advancement and their ability to produce energy. A type one civilization would have the technology to harness all the energy available on its home planet. This could mean being able to control the weather, inhabit its entire surface, and possess the ability to neutralize or cause natural disasters as they wish. In our current state, we find ourselves at type zero civilization. Specifically, we are at a modest 0.72 on the Kardashev scale, with the prospect of attaining type one status within the next few centuries. Type two civilizations would possess the capability to harness the entirety of their home star's energy and the ability to control all of the planets in their solar system. Controlling the energy of a star has been theorized by astronomers for years, with one concept being a Dyson sphere, a colossal megastructure built around a star, completely enclosing it, allowing for its energy to be captured and utilized. Lastly, a type three civilization would reign over an entire galaxy. This type of civilization would be able to travel vast distances and utilize the enormous energy resources from billions of stars. They would be so advanced that they may be able to harness the power of dark matter or black holes. So, 
Now we know what an alien civilization could look like and have established that there are suitable planets they could inhabit, the question still lingers. Why have we not encountered any signs of life during our exploration of the cosmos? This perplexity is known as the Fermi Paradox, and it has captivated scientists and researchers alike for decades. But for all of our efforts, we only have theories as to why we appear to be alone. One such theory is known as the Great Filter, which was introduced by Robin Hanson in 1996. This theory suggests that all civilizations face some kind of barrier that they must overcome for them to develop. The barrier could come from outside, such as an asteroid striking a planet destroying all life forms, or it could come from inside such an all-out nuclear war. Hansen proposed that a great filter might be at work within the Milky Way, stating that many other civilizations may have existed during the history of our galaxy, but they have either been destroyed or wiped themselves out before they got a chance to make contact. Another hypothesis put forth by scientists is the Rare Earths Hypothesis, which suggests that the emergence of intelligent life is an exceptionally rare occurrence. According to this idea, the events and conditions that led to the development of intelligent life on Earth were highly improbable and might not be easily replicated elsewhere. In other words, civilizations achieving intelligent life is like finding only a few winning lottery tickets among a vast number of losing ones. If this hypothesis holds true, it suggests that intelligent life could be scarce throughout the Milky Way and the cosmos as a whole. An additional suggestion stems from the idea that, with our current knowledge, we must recognize that we have only studied one planet. And we cannot definitively determine what is necessary for life based on this sole example. Our search for extraterrestrial life has primarily focused on planets that share similarities with Earth, specifically planets that contain water and oxygen. But what if life could exist in entirely different forms and could thrive on planets with conditions unlike our own? If we were to broaden our exploration to encompass a wider range of possibilities, this theory suggests that we may be more likely to find signs of life in our galaxy. Finally, there is one more theory as to the reason that we haven't found any other signs of life, and it is a somber possibility. Humanity may just be alone in the universe. Despite the countless stars and planets out there, and our numerous efforts to find evidence of life, we have found nothing, so this scenario cannot be ignored. As we explore the mysteries of the universe and ponder the absence of alien life, we must remember that our understanding of the cosmos is improving at a rapid rate. While the possibility of humanity being alone in the universe does exist, it remains just that, a possibility. Space holds countless wonders yet to be discovered, and perhaps in our continued exploration, we will one day encounter evidence of extraterrestrial life. Until then, we must find solace in the beauty of our planet and the boundless potential for discovery that lies ahead. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the Fermi Paradox and the mysteries of the universe. If you found this video intriguing, please consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel and checking out one of our videos on the screen. Thank you for watching.